the bible says the increase and the profit of the earth is for how many all nobody truly owns land everybody met it here that means everything god planted here there is my portion there say my portion yeah he says even the king is fed by that which comes from the field god is a god of portions it is not his will that men remain beggars forever if you don't believe what i'm saying just relax when i teach the one you believe you receive but as for this one if you don't believe it it will incapacitate your life in a way you cannot imagine can i tell you the truth god is a god of portions the concept of tipping people to keep them came from laban's house god never tips people to keep them no the the pattern that was given from abraham to isaac was that after a while god allocates your space in destiny and gives you dominion over that space this is how god works listen to me but when jacob came to the house of laban laban began to prosper and he used divination and he said if you let this man go so he said you know what i will keep appeasing you give you something small to keep you and at a point jacob said leave me i need to go and establish myself this state is inconsistent with how god works with men but laban refused and turned a man's destiny added over 20 years wastage to his life god is a god of portions when in the parable of the talents when he came and commended them what did he give them as rewards he allocated spaces in destiny you have been faithful you see the the lowest level of dominion is dominion and authority over things that is the lowest level of authority authority over things is the lowest like money physical things the next level of authority in the spirit listen to is authority over territories and nations when you are faithful with things when god promotes you he does not give you things again he gives you access literally predefined regions are allocated and you exert influence over them the highest level of authority that is given in this side of god's kingdom is the ability to steward his program that is the highest level of authority that can be given a man are we together that means god says i want to move and i'm putting you in charge of that move you don't believe this please do so when you have things it is wonderful but you are not very much in the kingdom when god moves you you know you have risen because one of the ways I'm, I'm going ahead of myself tomorrow now but one of the ways you know that the hand of god has rested upon you there are many factors one is ease the next is increased access to territory it is impossible for the hand of god to be upon you and then it does not resonate with the territory yes sir hmm. are we together yes but the highest level of authority is when god can commit his program to your hand and say i'm trusting you i want to raise fifty thousand worshipers and i'm putting you in charge of that agenda it is true honor when god gives you i want to raise hundred kingdom financiers and you are the one i have placed a grace can i tell you if you get to that level of authority even if a man believes god and ignores you in that generation he will never step into that promise it's true these are mysteries that many people do not understand there are men who have stopped being men they have become systems access points to certain spiritual realities even when you meet god he will refer you to them are we together let me give you one more key i sense that there is a wind that is about to enter this place there is there is a wind because i prayed only for a short time for this meeting truly and when usually 
I just prayed that God would give me direction. And the scripture that came to my spirit was Isaiah 32, 15. Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness be a fruitful field. And a fruitful field be a forest. There are levels from a wilderness. You can be fruitful as an individual. A forest starts because the tree that is there starts multiplying. It is multiplication of one tree that produces a forest. Hallelujah. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you. We are very, very appreciative of your presence in this community. This is a community of believers. We are here to enlighten ourselves through the word of God, through practical life applicable teachings. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel. If you have not liked this video, please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by this video. It is only God that can do the impossible. And when you are faced with impossibility in your life, the only place to run to, the only person to run to, is God. And that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the Word of God, to keep praying, fasting, to keep meditating on the Word of God, so that God will come through for us. Have a nice time. God bless you. See you in another of our videos. And there are so many videos that we have posted so far. Go through our channels. Go through our channel and check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life. Thank you. God bless you. Keep shining for Jesus. Keep shining for God. Peace.